The pandemic has altered everyday lives for Americans, forcing many into their homes and out of work. However, parents are finding themselves taking on a new role, teaching their kids as many schools shut down for the remainder of the academic year. Sam Sorbo, thank you so much for joining us today. It's great to see you. Thanks for having me. Well, you know, a lot of parents are finding themselves in a new normal right now. Their kids are home from school. They will be for the foreseeable future. They're now in the you know, position of homeschooling. I understand you've homeschooled your three children. Tell us a little bit about how that happened for you, how you got into that. So I started homeschooling after my son finished up second grade. Uh, they just weren't getting the job done. They were uh, I noticed that I was doing homework with them every day after school just in order to sort of satisfy the teacher's requirements. And there was just a part of me that said, my gosh, I mean, I'm homeschooling. I'm just doing it at the end of the day when everybody's tired and cranky and hungry. Honestly, the only thing that, that made me really decide to try is I thought that if I failed, I probably wouldn't do as poorly as the school was performing for my son. Amid this pandemic, uh, Sam, there's going to be a lot of parents that are either going to say, you know what, I'm so happy that my child is going back to school, and others are going to say, we want to continue this going forward. What do you say to them? Well, so uh, what I say is that homeschooling is not nearly as difficult as you think, and it's actually more rewarding than you could ever dream. There are all these presuppositions that go with this idea of homeschooling, but, um, but they come to us kind of from the education institution, which tells us that all learning takes place within the four, the four walls of the classroom. And that is patently untrue. And we see evidence of that everywhere. You know, we have to kind of rethink the way that we're looking at education. And I think that with this pandemic, as tragic as it is, it's giving us an opportunity to, 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 to maybe just take a step back and think about how are we defining education? Sam, I'm curious how you address the socialization aspect of homeschooling. Obviously, it's a little different being in, in a home classroom setting versus being with their peers. And I don't expect children to become social simply because I put them in with a mass of other children. In fact, on the social metrics, homeschoolers test typically better than average for the social skills because they're forced to deal with people of various grades and not be put into a, a, a classroom setting. And so to parents who, who say, well, what about socialization? Well, consider that your child might be the bullied child. You know, just think about that. Is that the socialization that you want? Just consider what exactly you're asking. And then the other thing that I would say to consider is, what is your priority? Is, is social skills your priority? Or is education your priority? What resources are available to parents that are considering homeschooling? Well, I've been working with the uh, Texas Homeschool Coalition, and they've developed a, uh, a full, full resource center online for parents absolutely for free. It's called uh, coronavirushomeschooling.com, coronavirushomeschooling.com. And you can go there, and the first thing you'll see is reassurance. You've got this. You can do this, okay? But you'll also have full-on curriculum and a, a daily agenda and daily input and also a very vibrant homeschool community. These are people who have been at this for 30-plus years. We, we have an education system that's sort of a one-size-fits-all. But as every parent knows, our individual children are unique. And so maybe your child is better served with a different curriculum or a different method to education. Sam Sorbo, I really appreciate you taking the time to join us today. Hope you and your family stay safe and well. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.